The TDP SatFlow sensor installation was developed by Dynamax Inc. and Dr. André Grenier of Enra, France. Our licensed design led to improved techniques and construction no other sensor can claim. The Dynamax TDP design makes the installation easy, consistent, and provides the most accurate results when the steps are performed as follows. The first step in installing a TDP sensor is clear a rectangular area by shaving off all corky bark. Only the outer bark of the tree is removed and damage to living tissue should be avoided. The site should be 1 to 2 meters above the ground to prevent thermal gradients created by cool sap as it emerges from the soil. Measure the circumference of the tree and record this for calculation of the trunk area later. Sand the area clean of debris and bark if necessary as shown with this conifer tree, a loblolly pine. This is easier to see the drilling holes in this area and provide a seal around the sensor hole. Many trees do not have much bark. If it is less than 1 to 2 millimeters thick, do not remove or damage the bark. We recommend extra precaution be used for trees of value. The drill bit should be rinsed in a 10% Clorox solution before drilling. One should re-rinse between trees to prevent the spread of disease. Place the drilling jig flat on the prepared surface and drill pilot holes using the smallest drill bit. Two drill bit sizes are supplied for the TDP-30, a number 55 and a number 54. The bigger gauge number is the smallest drill bit and you should start with the smaller one. Put a mark or wrap color tape on the drill bit to mark the correct depth you want to target for the probe. Remove the drilling jig and use the syringes provided to rinse the insulation site with hydrogen peroxide. Flushing the drilled holes minimizes the introduction of pathogens into the plant and helps promote quick killing. Insert the TDP sensor with the heated needle in the top hole and the reference needle in the bottom hole. Insert the needles about 5 millimeters at a time, pushing each needle alternately until almost all the way in, leaving 2 to 3 millimeters of shaft still visible. Do not stress or pull the wires at the probe connection. You may cause internal breakage. If the hole is the right size, the needles will push into the hole with some resistance and should fit tight. Two fingers pressing the needle into the hole is enough pressure. Do not force the needles. Install plastic putty or pruning wax sealer around the needles to surround them with waterproofing seal. This will prevent water from touching the needle shaft, causing a heat sink effect or large temperature gradients. Install foam quarter egg pieces on either side of the TDP needles to protect the sensor wiring from bending stresses and to add thermal insulation around the needles. Tape these foam blocks to the tree. Connect the sensor cable, checking the connector mail side o-ring to make sure it is in position. Then secure the cable to the tree by tying with tape or string. Reflective bubble wrap or insulation is now wrapped around the tree, foam blocks, and the TDP installation. The reflective bubble shield provided is enough to form a tent or skirt around the tree where the measurements are taken. We must prevent solar energy from heating the stem area. Solar and ground heat will interfere and add or subtract a temperature gradient from the sap flow probe signal. The bubble shield wrap should be secure with clear or reflective tape. Securely sealing the top of the wrapping to the tree trunk prevents rainwater running down the stem and touching the sensors. You may leave the bottom open to allow ventilation or moisture and escape path. More shielding is necessary to prevent the sun from shining on or below the area being measured. The sun can cause large local gradients on the stem, which can add or subtract from the temperature changes due to sap velocity. Simply use foil to wrap around the tree above and below the measurement area when needed. To prevent animals from chewing on the cables, we recommend you elevate them. You may also obtain slotted conduit cable wrapping from a hardware or electrical store or bury your cables to protect them. Be sure to set the power to the sensors correctly by following the specifications and directions provided with your SatFlow system. Now you are ready to take readings and to install more sensors. Good luck and call Dynamax if there are any questions or you need assistance at 1-800-896-7108.